All right, so what's going on, guys? So recently, iRacing released their spec map files, which allow you to customize your paint scheme to have matte finishes, chrome finishes, and everything in between. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a car, uh, for instance, this one I painted for Eric Smith, and convert it into a uh, brand new paint scheme um, that has all kinds of different effects going on. So I'm going to show you every effect you could possibly want. Basically, what I want all this black layer here to be matte. I want this white layer to turn into chrome. I want this blue and purple to be just a little bit shinier than it is currently in iRacing. And then I want all of these layers through here to be stickers. So I'm going to walk you through that entire process. So first of all, we'll go ahead and create four new layer folders. So Once you got all four of them, I'm going to rename them. This top one's going to be sticker. Second one's going to be gloss. Third one's going to be chrome, and the final one is going to be matte. So, to quickly explain how this iRacing spec map thing works, basically we're going to instruct the sim to render certain areas of the car certain ways. So, in order to not have, say, this chrome layer cutting straight through this sticker, which I'll show you in a little while, we're going to have to separate out each layer that we want to be rendered differently. So what we're going to do is so we're going to drag everything that we want to be rendered like a sticker like this Eric Smith here into the sticker folder. All my contingency logos as you can see here these contingency logos I'll drag those into the sticker folder as well. Anything that I want to be gloss I'm going to drag into the gloss folder. So for instance all of this blue here um, I don't have this separated out on this save, but I'll show you in a second. Anything I want chrome, like this white layer, I'd put in the chrome layer. Anything I want matte, I'd put in the matte layer. So for instance, just this black here. Oop, went a little too far into the matte layer. Once you got that done, you're just going to save it as a new folder. Or as a, a new save, sorry. Basically, what you're going to get is something that looks like this here. So I have my sticker layer. Hit alpha to selection. You can see everything on this car that I want to be a sticker. All the way through the 51, my B pillar logos, everything on here that I want to be rendered as a sticker. My gloss layer, the blue and purple. My chrome layer, the white. And the matte, which is just the black. So, our next step is to do something that I had to learn the hard way. It's not really that bad, but we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign right here. And this car mandatory, which is this Mustang logo, all this stuff that you normally turn off before you export because iRacing does render it um, on their own. You don't have to you know, stick it on there because it's always going to be on the car. Go ahead and duplicate that real quick. You're going to drag that into your sticker folder. Basically, iRacing also lets you customize the rendering of all of this here. So if you wanted a chrome grill on a NASCAR, you can do that. So we want to make sure that this gets rendered as a sticker like it normally is. So we're going to make sure that's in our sticker folder. From there, I'm just going to hit save. And I save this as spec map v2 Eric. So Eric the car, um, version 2 because I have a one already. From there, what you're going to do is head to the iRacing website. You want to scroll down till you see the car you're working on, which is this uh, Mustang for me, the Xfinity Mustang. And you click Download Car Template right here, or you can scroll through here at the top and find for me it's going to be the oop, scroll a little too fast, the uh, NASCAR Xfinity Ford Mustang. You want to download that template. Now you're saying you already have the template right here. iRacing has created some new templates that allow you to customize the car. So once you do that. Go ahead and open it up, and you'll notice you're going to see this new green layer. It's called a custom spec map folder, and that's what we're really going to want to work in. So for me, the best way to import a already made paint scheme into this, so I'm going to delete the paintable layer entirely. I'm going to rename this to Eric, and then I'm going to delete everything within this folder. From there, I'm going to hit Control Alt O. It should allow me to open something as layers. I'm going to open up the spec map V2 Eric, the thing we just worked on in here. From there you're going to see that we have our turn off before exporting. We have our sticker, gloss, chrome, and matte layer right there. 
The reason I like doing this is now I can just turn off and on the paint scheme itself, real nice and easy. So we're going to turn off the wireframe just so we can see the car a little better. From here, we're going to want to export this car into iRacing. So we're going to turn off the uh, turn off for exporting. And we're going to hit Control Shift E. From there, you're going to want to head to your Documents folder, iRacing, Paint. You see this all up here at the top. If, you're, if I'm going a little too fast for you. You're going to scroll to the car you're working on. For me, Stock Cars 2, which means Xfinity, Mustang 2019. Then, you're going to want to type in, up here at the top, car, underscore, it's not underscore, num, underscore, then your user ID. For me, it's 167354. Then, dot TGA. Right there. For me, hit export. I already have it in here, so just have to hit replace. And there we go. The next thing you're gonna want to do is unselect this and select the map file, the custom spec map folder. You want to hit Control Shift E again, and you're gonna replace this num right here with spec, S P E C, and again with your user ID for me one six seven three five four. If you don't know your user ID, just head to the iRacing website, go ahead and type in your name, for me, Liam Brotherton, go ahead and click on your name, and right up here at the top, you're going to see your user ID, for me, 167354, right there at the top. So now that we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and start work on creating our spec map folder. So. We go ahead and turn that off and turn on our car. So the first thing we're going to work on is going to be our Chrome layer. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to explain these little folders real quick. So the first one, that's red channel metallic, is basically your Chrome layer. Um, it basically reflects how much metallic flake is on your car. This green channel here is what I basically like to refer as the matte channel. It's just how rough the paint scheme is itself. Um, and we'll be able to customize this as we go along and I'll be able to better explain it to you guys. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and head over here to this color area and I'm going to select 255 HSV and then I'm going to, using the sliders, make sure my green is at zero, my blue is at zero. I'm going to drag my red all the way to the top, 255. And then I'm going to invert this. Then I'm going to drag my red to zero, my blue to zero, I'm going to drag my green to 100%, which is going to be this 255, and click OK. So, if you watched any of the iRacing videos that I found very confusing, basically the way they work was entirely within grayscale, which is this side, white to black. Basically what we're doing is converting that into color scale. So for us, it's just this side here bright green to dark black. And we'll get into that a little bit as we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up. I'm going to turn off the red layer. If you notice here, this dark gray, this is how iRacing as a base is going to consider its roughness. This is how rough a base car in iRacing is. Hey, okay. the, uh, use the eyedropper tool, hit select. If you noticed, it's at 27, so it's 0 to 27. That means that it's 27 pixel or 27 uh, units, I suppose, above pure black. So we're going to want to replicate that, but within green. So we can drop this all the way down to about 27, and it's going to be it's going to be the same. I want it to be just a little bit rougher, so I'm going to go to about mm, I'm going to say 34. I'm going to click OK, hit Shift B, which is going to Allow us to use our bucket tool. Bam. Paste that into the green layer. From there, I'm going to turn on my red layer. And I'm going to, using this red here, click OK, which is, again, the maximum red you can have. You can use these color codes as well. If all this is too confusing, just use these color codes here that I've been using. And I'm going to paint this entirely in red. So what I'm going to do from here. I'm going to export this as a spec map folder. So again, Control Shift E, just making sure we're on spec. Hit replace. And there we go. So we head into iRacing. 
we'll go ahead and hit render here. If you notice right away, what we've done is we basically created the entire car in Chrome. The logos, the front nose piece, everything is in Chrome. All the way around. So we got what we wanted in having this Chrome white strip, but I didn't want all the rest of this car to be Chrome. So we're going to go ahead and start going through how to start doing that. So I'm going to check something here real fast that we did. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unselect this red layer, and we're just going to head and click Create New Layer. From there, let's scroll down here to our Chrome layer, hit Alpha to Selection, and let's just select that white that we had earlier. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the car, that way you guys can see it. The white areas here on the front as well. I'm going to go up here to this layer, and we're going to paste in here that bright red. So now if we were to hit control E, which is just a shortcut to that same, the last exported file, you're going to notice that, well, bam, now the car looks entirely the same as it normally would, except we have a chrome white strip. Problem arising number one is that this chrome layer is cutting straight through my stickers. And that's why we created the stickers folder down here. And we'll come to how to do that at the very end. So you kind of want to ignore this for right now. Just start dialing in what you want. So now that we got that, I kind of want to make this blue and purple a little bit more shiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another new layer. I'm going to scroll down here to my gloss, hit alpha to selection, scroll back up. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in bright red again. Again, this is 255. I'm going to hit Control E. And while you're thinking to yourself, Liam, isn't this going to make the bottom a chrome again? Well, would you look at that? It did. Now all of this is chrome. Well, how do I get it to be just a little bit shinier than base, but maybe not, you know, full chrome? All you have to do is this opacity slider right up here at the top. Go ahead and drag this down. For me, I'm going to dial this down to about maybe 18. Hit Control E. Hit Control R. And would you look at that? It's a little bit shinier than it was before, but next to the same. So we got our gloss finish there. I'm going to dial this up just a touch to, mm, let's say, like 24%. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the matte which is going to be this black layer here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to this gloss layer, hit alpha to selection, and we're going to scroll up to this green layer. So we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to go over here to the green. Now again, this is maximum green. So if we were to paste in right now all green, it would be a maximum matte. Now, I don't want this to be on the part of the car that we wanted this chrome, right? I want this to still be the way it is, sorry, the kind of gloss. I want this to be the way it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control i which is going to invert the selection. So when I paste in here, it's everything except this area. So as you can tell, everything except for that area is now pasted. I also want to make sure I do that for the uh, chrome area. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit alpha to selection on that. I'm going to turn these off, as you can tell. Uh, it didn't quite get that, so in here I'm just going to use the green we used earlier, which I believe was this one. And we're just going to go ahead and hit paste right there. So now, right underneath the chrome is still this dark green, and beneath the colored area is also this dark green. I'm going to turn these layers back on, and then we're going to go ahead and hit export. And hit Control R. Would you look at that? Now the black is entirely matte. We got our chrome and we got our gloss layers. See, there's a nice separation right there. Really looks like it's above this layer. Now this is great and all, but I personally don't like this zero reflectiveness matte. I think it's just a little overdone. So what I like to do is dial this back a little bit. Now the way we're gonna do that isn't going to be with the opacity slider. For this, we're actually gonna use the green scale again. So for me personally, I like about 170 on the green. 
you can dial this up or down basically the higher the green layer the more matte the darker the more smooth so we're gonna go ahead and just select again and paste and would you look at that we got our car all ready to go I'm also gonna have to do this again real fast again you can separate these out and make your workflow a little cleaner if you'd like so if we go ahead and hit control E it's a little bit less matte you can see a little bit more sunshine on the car personally I like this look a little bit better now the final thing I want to do to this car is again back to this matte I like it the way it is, but I like to have a little bit more metallic shine in my mat. The way we're going to do that is this layer right here. If you click that on, again, this would make the entire car chrome. All you're going to do is dial back the opacity. For me personally, right about 30% is ideal. We'll hit Control E, hit Control R. And now the entire car has just a little bit more of that metallic flake to it, especially in the mat. And me personally, I like this look just a little bit more versus the, the entirely matte car. Just my personal preference, but that's the awesome thing about this workflow is it's really easy to dial in changes. If I want a little bit more of that, I can dial this opacity up. If I want a bit a little less, dial it down. Now the final layer or the final step is to cut out all of these stickers and all of this mess on this car. That way we no longer have it cutting through here and we have it rendered like they're stickers. All you have to do to do that is head down here to your paintable layer and your stickers, hit alpha to selection, and scroll up here, click the erase tool. I'm going to turn up the hardness and the force all the way and just start erasing. So we're going to start with the red layer here at the top. Again, just make sure you hit everything on this car at least once each layer this takes a little bit um, you can dial up this size a little bit more for me it just tends to lag even more but you can dial up the size and make this a little bit quicker so again we're cutting out that layer where the chrome's at you can see it work as you go around the car and finally this layer here and now you're going to see that you're going to start seeing that green layer underneath start appearing you see it as we go around you start seeing that green layer up here that's because we're making negative space within our red folder finally we're going to head down here to this green layer and we're going to erase anything that's that bright green because that bright green remember that's the matte and we don't want that we want the sticker look so we're going to erase anything in here that is that bright green color And now we have this kind of Christmas tree, goofy looking paint scheme. All you're going to do, hit Control E, head back into the sim, hit Control R, and voila, you have exactly what you wanted. You now have sticker numbers, you have sticker contingency logos, you can sticker logo here on the side, it doesn't get cut off, looks like it's pasted directly on top of the car. For me, this is how I personally like everything to look. You can dial it up however you'd like. If you'd like these to be a little bit more chrome, all you have to do is maybe, you know, come in here to the sticker layer and then just add like a little bit of a, uh, a new layer, hit, hit the red, and maybe dial this back to like, you know, 9% and hit Control E. And now everything should have just a little bit more of a shine to it. All those stickers are going to have a little bit more of a shine to them. Personally, I don't really like that look, but if that's the way you're looking, you can do that. I'm going to show you one last final thing, how to dial in everything perfectly. So say I have this whole car done, but you know what? I want this number right here. I don't want it to be white. I now want it to be chrome. How are you going to do that? Real simple. Head your sticker folder. Find your numbers hit alpha to selection you see all my 50 ones are highlighted scroll back up here to the red layer again create a new layer just like we did before hit shift B paste in that red hit control E again 
Control R. And would you look at that, we now have a Chrome number on our paint scheme. So this is how you can customize your car to your heart's desire within GIMP. Personally, this is my favorite workflow. If you guys have any suggestions for me, definitely let me know. And if this helped you guys out, also definitely let me know down in the comments. Anyhow, guys, thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all around.